two hosts. Tell me the most interesting thing on your mind right now. Sorry, I, 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 I was working on something. What was that? Two guests. You know, you guys really suck. Why is the floor wet? To one inept producer. I'm just saying, you guys don't have that same thing before sex? I've got a checklist. Four intriguing topics. They talk, you listen. Disappointment follows. Welcome to That Was Disappointing. Remember to tip your veal and try the waitress. Well, this is, is uh, definitely the most uh, calming Marvel Phase 4 theme. Uh, they what quote this it? as the epic version, so that's clearly bullshit. I, I was about ready to go, in a world <laughs> where Thanos has <laughs> snapped in out half of our where, listeners. <laughs> where capitalism reigns supreme and new intellectual property does not matter. We like to go back to the world oh, and anyone oh. fucking else. We are oh, yeah. Disney. I'm feeling that. I'm this is from that somebody. preview. From yes. that welcome to phase four, welcome back to the movies, big thing they did. That's what oh, yeah. oh, there you go. See? Yeah, All right, so like... at least you know somebody knows what they're talking about. I thought yeah. it was so, the trailer. Here we are. We're already talking. We're railroading ourselves. Welcome back to the show, everybody. <laughs> it is your host with the least art. Got my good friend of me here, Lex. Friend of me and a friend. Yeah, that too. You look dopey and mopey as fuck as usual. Uh, and we got producer Kenny back. Hey, whoa, Kenny. Whoa, whoa. What's up? What's up? So we're here, if you can't tell from the music in the background, which some of you could, some of you can't, we're here to talk about comics, and this time specifically Marvel. So don't worry, we won't be jerking off all over Batman like we did last time. Ooh, yeah. And this to is comics too, off, baby. To help us jerk off all over Marvel... We have returning guest, Kevin. How you doing, Kevin? I'm good, bud. How are you? Oh, better now that your face is here, baby. <laughs> oh, thanks. And we, books. We, got some, we got some fresh blood in the water. He's new to the show, but not to our lives. Dear old friend and actor and comedian extraordinaire, Big Ben Kennedy. How are you doing, bud? Holy <laughs> shit. Where did you find me? Where did we um, find you? Uh, uh, well, I found you outside the Royal Farms originally, but, you know. <laughs> right on. You know, they, they don't have Royal Farm stores down here. It's pretty, no, not it's pretty out there, sad. not in Florida. Oh, you're in Florida? Yeah, yeah, they don't have them here. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, none to be found. Oh, wow. Yeah, same. Well, for better or for worse. Actually, Charleston's my next uh, train visit. I like to get on the trains and go visit towns. In Wait, are you a train next. nerd? I, I'm a dude, trainer, dude. Dude, okay, Sheldon Cooper, look at you. <laughs> I love you trains. You fucking know that. Trains are awesome. All right, well let's uh, let's go around the the horn here real quick and see what everybody's drinking. Ben, you got any beverage nearby, or are you I, just? Uh, I didn't know that was this kind of boy. party, but I was being a good schoolboy. He caught he caught me. I was in the process. I'm wrapping up assignments. I'm actually in nursing school as we speak. Good and, for um, you. And I'm busting my ass. And I was about to back out. And I go, can we do this like another time? Like a Tuesday would be great. He goes, I'll have to see if the boys calm down because they're going to be pissed. And I'm like, you fucker. <laughs> he like scared me into like, all right, fine, I'll do it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I literally, I'm like doing my assignments on my on my iPad. And I'm like, doing all this, just waiting for this room to come up. So we're, we're good though. But, but yeah, I'm not drinking tonight. I have to work early in the morning. So. Oh, oh yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, and fair enough. Kevin, I'm sure you have an iced tea today. Yes, I do. Once again. Rock and roll. Sometime that's, you're going to have a lemonade drink. and maybe you'll go <laughs> sassy and do an Arnold fucking Palmer. Pal what is it? I can never know. Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Palmer. You never, you Arnold never know. Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Ken, what about you? I am having a Loki mocktail. It's uh, two parts orange juice with one part ginger beer and champagne. And blue curacao syrup. I don't even know what that is, but I put uh, it in there. Is it curacao? Is curacao. It? I thought it was yeah, cur curacao. Or curacao? No, no, that's not. That's this is English, guys. It's curacao. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it sounds very German. Yes. 
Uh, what about you, Joe? Uh, much like uh, much like Ben Kennedy, I have to be up early in the morning, so I am <laughs> drinking a lot of vodka and uh, <laughs> having up right now. Uh-huh. Huzzah! Um, because I can only find off a very quick Google search Modelo. one Marvel character with an M name. I'm drinking a Maha Yogi <laughs> Modelo. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, so uh, Art, do you actually know about this subject this week? Um, I would hope so. Well, not I, I do to Disney. some. I do to some degree. I mean, I did work at Marvel Studios for a brief period of time. I, I'm happy that Kevin. Seen... I'm happy that Kevin asked this because uh, I, I just want to. I just want to put it out there. Where are where are we at here? Like, I mean, obviously we've all seen Endgame, so we're at least that caught up. Are yeah. we? Are we Loki done here? Are we? Oh no, no! I I had complete done. I had complete superhero exhaustion. I have not watched Loki. I have not watched Wandavision. I did not watch the Winter Soldier. And I've seen all three. Oh, you're slap. You're slap. But don't worry. I know plenty of spoilers. Feel free to say whatever the hell you want. Yeah. I I'm also fine. And Joe loves spoilers, so I I wait, 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 wait. You're okay with spoilers now? I'm okay with the spoilers for these because I don't care. Not not for Red Dead Two. You're such a douche. You're a douche. What? I only care about spoilers if I if I care about the story. <laughs> it's not like a one size fits all shoe here, Lex. You're the one who just loves spoilers, whether you hate the material or love it. It's weird. Yeah, hey, I love spoilers too. Nothing wrong with that. Dude, you both are fucking weird. I'm just gonna have to put you guys in a fucking <laughs> separate room or something. Anyway, let's let's start. So I want to talk about um the characters that haven't made it to the big phases in Marvel so far and probably never will. So what I'd like to know is what obscure Marvel character will they never make a movie about, but you would love to see them do it, right? Now, again, admission here, I I don't know the 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 comics that well for me to mine down and find random ass characters. So I did have to do some searching. And the one I found via my searching... I already am in love with, and I kind of wish that they would make a movie of this. I am talking about Mean Cuisine. Uh, Oh, no. Mean Cuisine, I'm going to read it from this article here, is an unforgettable Marvel character that is literally a massive load of sentient vegetables that have joined together like a grocery (laughs) store version of Voltron. (laughs) Only seen in one issue... In what the number 11 from 1991, Mean Cuisine was made out of vegetables that had grown in a radioactive clay made by the Pup Pest Master. When these vegetables were later exposed to Shiza Hulk's bioradioactivity, they gained sentience and grouped together to form Mean Cuisine. <laughs> so, even <You> better, <laughs> Mean he's Cuisine got a, quickly He's got a formed... belt made of grapes. And with oh, yeah, little... no, look the picture up. It's great. The picture's <laughs> wonderful. Even better, Mean Cuisine quickly formed a group called the Lunch Legion with other sentient sentient food and attacked Shiza Hulk. Now, Shiza Hulk quickly realized that Mean Cuisine's weakness was simply being eaten and ate the creature without any regard for its sentience. So that's pretty fucking weird, and I think that's just amazing. And I will say a very close runner-up was uh, Hell Cow, which apparently was a cow that was turned into a vampire when Dracula drained it, but didn't leave it to die. And it ended up becoming I need to throw my the script out the window. I I had that that I just wrote that. Damn damn it. Oh, sorry, you must have found the same website I did. (laughs) I feel like what was it? Meat cuisine? Uh mean. Mean (laughs) cuisine. Mean mean cuisine. Okay, mean cuisine. I, I I feel like that's kind of a cheat because I think for this category here, and I understand it's your topic arc, but I feel like you have to have a character who did who appeared on more than one page of one comic book. So okay. I mean, it, no, he uh, was on more than one page. Thank you very much. Then fine, I will revert to my second choice, who was in multiple appearances. That's uh, fine. Facing off that's against fine. Howard the Duck and joined forces with Deadpool because that's how fucking cool this weird hell cow is. So Hell Cow was created when Dracula was desperate for blood, but the locals had barricaded themselves inside, preventing him from feeding on them. So unable to find any other solution, Dracula drained Bessie the cow, but left her to become a vampire. So now she became literally a cow with vampire powers. Hell Cow 
multiple appearances, part of the Deadpool Incorporated group. There, Does needs, that, feel better, that Joe? needs to be MCU canon. I'm sorry. Yeah, that seriously does. When they bring out Howard the Duck later on a reboot, I hope they bring out fucking Hell Cow. Um, you do realize that Howard the Duck has been in Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Oh, yeah, I know. That's all, what I'm saying. I want them that. to actually reboot and do a full <laughs> commitment to him now. Sure you do. I do. Dude, Howard the Duck's my favorite Marvel character. No, I'm just saying that you're full nice. of shit. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. Hang on. Let me change my windows here. <laughs> so I guess I'll go next to show. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen that was Joe Lex, comedian extraordinaire. Ben, I can't wait to get to you so you can show him how it's actually done. <laughs> um, so I, this is a tough category because I feel like Marvel takes so many risks that no character is off limits. Uh, just because, you know, a lot of people said the Guardians of the galaxy would never happen because like you know how would this how would something like this be popular and then it released and it's you know one of their most popular franchises uh the same with a lot of shit that they've done so i i don't think anything is in the plans for this character right now however considering her popularity in the comic book world i would not be surprised if she does um become yes kenny what Kenny is praying to me. What no, is this weird? Go ahead. <laughs> As you look should. like a mantis uh, chewing your own fuck? arm. Just keep talking, <laughs> dude. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Kenny was in prayer. I guess uh, I. No, okay. I was. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I, he just I guess you don't know about Squirrel Girl. Yeah. I think that's I think... who I was about to say. Squirrel. I mean, Girl. come on. Thank I'm sitting here right. fucking doing it, but you know, whatever. Yes. Oh, is Squirrel that what Girl. that was, Kenny? I thought oh, you were okay. just having an episode. <laughs> That's exactly who I was going to say, and uh, 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 apparently, uh, apparently, the universal symbol for prayer is also a squirrel e e eating a nut. So <laughs> the more you know, um, but yes, yeah, Squirrel Girl. Uh, squirrel Girl is a mutant who can communicate with squirrels, um, has a tail, and her um, her comic book adventures are very comedic in the same vein as Deadpool, except, you know, without the gore and such, but, you know, you know, very ir irreverent, uh, very, uh, very off the wall. I I'd say uh, I would not be shocked if Marvel does incorporate Squirrel Girl at some point, uh, just due to her popularity with the fans, but that would be my answer here. Squirrel Girl. She talks to squirrels. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> Is that what that was? Yep. <laughs> oh my god, pass it off. Come on, host. Uh, who next? Uh oh my god. Heaven. <laughs> what? You kill me. Your timing is impeccable. Go ahead. By Gary. that I mean non-existent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this I'm kind of kind of handicapped with this one because I don't know shit about comics. I never read comics. The only comics I remember growing up is when Kenny bought the Death of Superman comics. Um, but that's you know, Whoa, part of a different alert. genre. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, my memory of that is very different. You let well, me borrow a well, paperback I, of well, I was Superman. Magazines. No, you let me borrow a paperback of, of Superman dying. Of Dude, him fighting uh, Doomsday and dying, bro. You Trouble bought those. Paradise. You bought those comics. Like it was such a big deal. Like when you yeah, bought Kenny. Those I'm pretty sure you and I both we went and bought them together. Thank you, Art. Thank you. It was you, in Art. like the white bag, right? Wasn't it in the white that like the one? That, the that one that was, was in the white bag was his. Was him in was the his, afterlife? Was his return? Back, right. Return ish was of it, sorts. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. The black. Like the black the plastic only, wrap was the death of. That's the I one. Like those that are the only comics I actively purchased. This is awesome that we were talking about the death of Superman on a Marvel show. Shut up, Lex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now it's time. Go ahead, Kevin. <laughs> go ahead, Kev. All right. God so, anyways, damn it. Are you so I don't know. With me? <laughs> so I don't know shit about like any of these Squirrel Girls or you know Mean Cuisines. I don't have any like uh, characters like that. Like I have background characters in, in some of the movies and shows that I think are awesome. Uh, like I, I loved Ebony Maul in uh, Infinity Wars. Like I thought he was great. 
um, that like that character get, definitely could have been expanded on more. Um, everybody loves Korg, which I, and why wouldn't you love Korg? Like I would, Korg could just they could just do a whole show with Korg. Like <laughs> I, I would love that, and and especially throw Meek up in there too. So you know, off the top of my head, that's the you know that's the best I can come up with. But yeah, unfortunately, I. I didn't read comics. I definitely never bought no comics, Kenny. The only thing I was buying back then was wrestling magazines. <laughs> so, 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 Kevin, why don't you go ahead and make this a cheat then and say that since you don't know any of the comic characters, instead you would want to make Korg into a comic character. There we go. Bang. Oh, that's right, because he wasn't. What, he, was he a comic character? I don't believe so. Oh, nice. Okay, then, yeah, I would make Korg into a comic character. Hey, you got to is money. There. Thanks. Thanks, oh, Brother no. Joe. Ironically uh, enough, well. I think the last time I saw you, Kevin, we were playing Def Jam Vendetta um, video game where all the Def Jam <laughs> rappers were wrestlers. Remember that video oh, game? Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. So on the I last swear to God, I think that's about, true. On the, on the last episode, we talked about Mad Dog McCree, and now we're talking about Def Jam. <laughs> <laughs> that was when you could be like DMX versus like Scarface versus... Uh, Grandmaster Flash, all kinds of stuff, man. It was a wild video game. Whoa, I never even knew about this video yeah, game. Yeah, I remember this I remember one. It. This is I a good one. It. That's amazing. Yeah, I vaguely remember it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. All right, who's okay, left? Ben. What do you think? All right, so the, the topic was given to me was... Uh, Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 oh, no, no. Sorry, you're answering this question first. <laughs> oh, I'm answering this question. Yeah, what else? Oh, sorry, sorry, Marvel sorry. character would you... Marvel character that I... See, I... Who I would think they would never give a movie to yeah. who's decent or not decent. <laughs> no, that'd be cheating. Because <laughs> Mean Cuisine, yeah, okay. I really wish they Fuck give yeah, a movie. I really wish they give a movie to him. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would ever see... Like, let's choose a character like, um, <laughs> like, uh, well, you couldn't call him Demolition Man. You remember D-Man? He was like a cross between Daredevil and Wolverine. What? Or, uh, yeah, or Triathlon. Do you remember Triathlon? No. <laughs> Is he just yes. a guy who runs, swims, and rides a bike? <laughs> but he was a former Olympian who became a superhero. It has so oh much potential God. for all these uh, real-life athletes to be. Uh, crossover into movies but it'll never happen um i don't know uh i really didn't see them doing a guardians of the galaxy god's honest truthful i was i, I when he was saying that i couldn't agree with you more and they I was nailed like, it they're making a 200 million dollar guardians movie and holy hell that it was, was awesome so yeah um yeah both now, i mean howard the duck uh, it, it, if i had to be a betting man i'd say for all the popularity i don't think they'd ever remake it i think his cameos they, in the Guardians world is about the best you're going to get. He I, looks so I, different in the cameo in the cameos from Guardians because I loved the original one when I was a kid. Like it just seems so weird. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, oh, but that was a, that was Warwick Davis, wasn't it, or somebody in the suit? It was, it was a was variety shit. of folks, but uh, yeah. I just want I just wanted to go on record as everybody knowing that Howard the Duck <clears throat> was the very first Marvel character to get a feature length theatrical film. So nice. They can never take that away from him. So God bless. Nice. Howard yeah. the, the duck. duck. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Art, why did you not start? Art, why did you not start this episode with a Howard? All right, the all right duck guys. All right, throw the because whole thing out. Because we just got there, the Joe. Thing thing out, I didn't even out, have it start on my all radar. Over. Do it now. Let's go. All right, go. you boys. These guys, we're all these, guys, <laughs> these guys got another half hour. We're good. We're all Glen Burnie Pasadena. I'm gonna give you the this funny thing. Howard the duck was born in 1955. 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 Okay, not the prequels. Yeah, the prequels. The prequel, Phantom Menace is about to come on the screen. I don't know how much they paid this poor kid, but he walked down to the front and he said, I have some bad news. The prequel cut didn't make it in time. So we're going to show another perennial George Lucas classic, Howard the Duck. <laughs> that kid meant so much fucking soda and popcorn. People were throwing shit at him in waves. That's hilarious. And I swear to God, I was like, I, I mean, I was laughing when he walked past me. He was like, if they didn't give you $50 at least, you got gypped, dude. Because he was oh, like, yeah. they're like, boo, he started throwing shit at him. We were dying. That's awesome. Well, the and fact the that he was able to use, we were like, <laughs> if he was able to say the word perennial in this entire uh -huh. charade, uh -huh. that's the best part about it. He, he was, it Especially was great. We learning. were right there. Yep, right. Marley Station movies. All right. All right, Kenny. Uh, give us the score on that one, would you? Oh, come on, man. Uh Bessie the Hell Cow's gotta win that. 
Oh, so yeah. yeah. Our... Poke, poke, chat. Poke, chat. Poke, 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 poke. I thought you had a hard yeah. on for Squirrel Girl. I do have a hard on for Squirrel Girl. you kidding me? Have you seen Squirrel Girl? Yeah, but you had to, that had movie, to give you Squirrel that Girl, movie, you dingbat. It's going to be awesome. Except I gave you Squirrel Girl. But we're yeah, saying. I was already going to say Squirrel Girl. I know. Dipshit. That's low hanging fruit, bro. She, he, I didn't, I didn't know anything about. <laughs> this guy is like, if he brought up a cow that has was bit by a as his Dracula. second choice. What? Only after I was dressed down about my. Oh no! I had to be in more than one comic issue, yeah. man. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Kevin, what's your topic? No, it's because Joe was being a bitch. Fuck off, That's Mark. what it was. Kevin, what's your topic? All right, so I was given the topic of, and the, this is this wasn't easy for me because I am forced and first and foremost a DC fan because uh, Batman's my all time favorite superhero, <laughs> and you know, and I was way into the DC EU before I got into the MCU. But anyway, so my que- my question is. If you could take any MCU movie thus far and give it the Zack Snyder DCU dark treatment, <laughs> what would you what, what would you give it? And Holy shit. and I and I and I swear to God, I, I thought about this like all day. You know, the first thing that popped in my head was uh, you know the first Iron Man because you know showing an R-rated version of, to- of Tony Stark like that could be really fun. Okay. Um. But then when I really thought about it, even though it was quasi dark already, like just do Infinity Wars, but make, make that like rated R. Like that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like hands down, I would, I would definitely do that. Because Endgame kind of like it need the way Endgame was set up, it needed to be like more uplifting. So, you know, you, the way that was done, I'm fine with that. But yeah. And I loved Infinity War. I'm not trying to cut Infinity War in any way. That's one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Dude, but... Infinity War starts and doesn't stop. Endgame is like, wake up. We're about to end the series. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> right, exactly. Like if I, I would put Infinity War above Endgame. Um, but I, I would also put, you know, in my top three, I would also throw uh, Jack Sn- Zack Snyder's Justice League in there too, because that was tight. It was worth the four hours <laughs> and the three and a half years I had to wait to, to watch that movie, or however hell long it was. Were, so, were you uh, one of the ones on Twitter throwing out yes, part of the? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Release the Snyder cut. Now it's release the Iyer cut because I want to see the the real version of Suicide Squad. The, oh the yeah, personal. the original version of Suicide Squad, right? <laughs> yeah. So that that's that's my latest thing. But yeah, so uh, to answer the question, Infinity War. I also thought about Civil War too. Like that that could have been cool, but nah, I'll stick with Infinity War. Cool. Joe, Ben, either of you guys got something? Yeah, I think so. So I think with Zack Snyder, and and Zack Snyder has has had some good films. You know, I don't hate Man of Steel as much as some people do, but. Uh, but Batman v Superman um, was, um, you know, I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh, to me, that was kind of the. Did you watch the alternate kind of edition? Did you watch? The I did whole... not. Okay, you gotta uh, the, watch that. Did you watch the, the Snyder cut of it? The standard, <laughs> the Snyder cut. The standard edition was bad enough, so so, so I don't really know. But I wanted, I wanted to, to, to watch the ultimate edition. Um, so I feel like I have to pick on a Marvel film that's a little bad uh, because if you're going to be bad to begin with, if you're going to Snyder verse it, you know, you might as well go for like the gusto. So I would pick Wolverine origins uh, because that is the film. <laughs> yes. Origins where that is the <laughs> film where Deadpool uh, played by Ryan Reynolds. This is his first appearance as Deadpool where yeah. the character of Deadpool was nothing like, the actual character of Deadpool where his mouth is sewn up and he has, I think two long claws for arms and he's just a, a total douche. And um, I would like to see Zack Snyder just like set loose on something like that and just make it, you know, make it like 20 times douchier, but also <laughs> black and white. And I think that that would just be absolutely brilliant <laughs> to really so, give it that drama. <laughs> so release the Snyder cut, of Deadpool and Wolverine uh Ridgens make it 16 hours long and I <laughs> and I will be there opening day. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, 16 shit. hours, huh? Do yeah, it. man. Joe, I did say MCU movie, by the way. That technically was not an MCU movie. 
Bar- well, I mean, he, he is he is technically correct uh, because yes, that's but we'll go with Marvel characters. Yeah, we're fine with we're fine with it. Okay, but that you are very correct. That was a fun wait a minute. Whoa, 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 Kevin, you just cheated on the last topic by taking a character from a movie and putting it into a comic book. You're you're going to <laughs> shit on my idea. <laughs> God Come on, right. man! You know the sword yeah. doesn't cut both ways with him, exactly. Joe. Exactly. <laughs> uh, who would like to go next, uh, Ben or Art? Ben, you got something? Or I um, give you more time? I got. No, something. I mean, if I'm if I'm thinking about it, I mean, sticking with the current MCU movies, like all the 26 or 27 that we know of, and you want to go with a dark and gritty version? That's what we're thinking here. Um, <laughs> I think. I think it would it would be really awesome to go to go dark and gritty on Winter Soldier because mm-hmm. it pushes that really closely. Um, the thing that I said always makes <clears throat> these these superhero movies when they're at their best is when they're like another movie, but they're like superhero theme tucked in. So like The Dark Knight was like The Departed or like a Scorsese film yeah. with yeah. Batman characters. Well, freaking all day long, um, uh, Winter Soldier was clear and present danger or Patriot Games. It was a fucking Jack Ryan or Tom Clancy kind of thing, Rainbow Six Siege, but it had like Marvel characters in it and it was just amazing. So I think it's my favorite. It's my favorite MCU. You can take that movie and I mean, go deeper into um, Robert Redford's character, go deeper into, I mean, you could really peel some layers back. And and make Bucky like murderous, not like MCU friendly, you know. And I think that'd be that would be the movie to see because then you're really, really like putting Captain America in a spot where it's like, do you end your friend who is in essence a rabid dog? Like, I mean, I know he's your buddy, but they're in a should have him in there. Do you end him? But we had the Marvel friendly version, and he doesn't end him, and they're friends and and all that's good stuff and drops him in the water you know <laughs> now he gets his own show and then he gets his own show and we forgive him because he he uh, chanted some shit by a fire and now his memory's erased i mean bucky <laughs> bucky is one of my favorite he's one of my absolute i mean captain america is one of my favorite characters and then the whole him and bucky thing like i, I literally I, I my nickname for my son is bucky uh nice. I, not and it's just it just comes out that way like i I don't I didn't intend it to be that way. But uh yeah, dude. I don't know. Are we done? Because I mean guys are geez, nerds. Big Bang gets the points. I didn't finish. I didn't even go. Art still have to go. All right, go ahead, Art. Go ahead. What do you got? Look, you got I'm Bucky just gonna call that? it straight. You guys are all wrong because you aren't falling far enough down into the 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 dark fucking things up by making it uh DC universe. You got to go as far away from that as possible for this to really work. So I tell you, Ant Man and the fucking Wasp. Oh my god! Done in a dark Zack Snyder way, where he's shrinking down, he's flying into someone's nose in slow motion, like four <laughs> to six times slow, and then he expands into normal size, exploding heads. Oh my! You gosh. know, there's like this heavy, heavy sexuality. There's like weird, <clears throat> like abs- gross amounts of nudity and violence. That is how you do it. And you take it from one of the most comedic franchises other than Guardians in the thing, which is Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's how you fuck up a Marvel movie by DCing it. Okay, that is how enough. you fuck it up. Good, good, good point. I was thinking how you made it better, so I'd give the points to Art if you want to fuck it up, because that's really fucking Oh, up. yeah! Uh, I, I, I would give the, I would give the points to Art if you really want to fuck it up. That's absolutely how you do it. Good job, Art. Um, I was going with hire you. Make it better. I'm still I'm still giving Big Ben the points, because I want to see that movie. I want to see that movie. Yes, that's true. Okay, Joe, you've been waiting all this time. What's your topic? Oh shit! I forgot a topic. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man, I'm so scared. Okay. Um, Do you want me to post it? <laughs> no, I've got it. I've got it. Um, Don't post. So it. you know, speaking of Endgame, well, in Infinity War and Endgame, uh, one of the one of the images that people will never forget is Thanos' snap, which snapped away 
half of, you know, not just the Earth's population, but, just, you know, half of the universe in general. Um, my question is, if the snap were to happen, what is one character you would be okay with not returning? So, um, you know, and Art, I, I would be nice and not say Meat Crusader or whatever his name was. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, Hell cow. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Look, he's dead. He's dead already. He got eaten by She's a Hulk. He's, he's been shat out and put through the system, and he's returned to the ground many years past. Well, I will stick with characters <laughs> who are, and again, I guess this is a cheat according to Kevin, uh, because I'm going to be talking about a mutant. Uh, well, but but the <laughs> mutants are back under the MCU umbrella now. Correct, yeah, they technically, are, but they, they haven't made their Fox debut. Is, because yeah, <laughs> smart ass. Because Fox, <laughs> be, be, because all those Fox films are owned by Disney now. So, boom. Um, Does it I would mean have to say, we're not sticking to MCU? But let me just call it out. That doesn't mean they're in the MCU. It's just like you know, come on. Let's let's like you know, let's do that. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I would have to say Cyclops, uh, because I always thought that Cyclops sucked. He was. I, um, I think part of it was it was envy on my part because it seemed like he always had the babes, and I don't mean just Jean Grey. Like you know, he had Jean Grey, he had Madeline Pryor, who was a Jean Grey clone. He had the White Queen. He had Psylocke, who. Um, who in the Fox films, I believe, was played by Olivia Munn. So, I mean, you, you know, what did they all see with this jack-off? I, I mean, you know, it, 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 like, I mean, he couldn't beat the hot girls off with a stick. It was the glasses. And, uh, what's that? It was the glasses. It's his hot visors, man. Yeah, th that's the only thing I could think. So, And, and I was always demeanor. A... Look how much hotter I am. <laughs> I got wood. <laughs> And I was always a Ben's taking Wolverine. his shirt off. There we go. Whew, holy hell! <laughs> and I was always a Wolverine fan, and uh, you know, Wolverine was always kind of cock blocked because you know he he liked Jean Grey as well, and Jean liked Scott. You know, much like every other woman in the Marvel universe likes Scott. So yeah, fuck Scott Summers, <laughs> aka Cyclops. Fuck off right to hell. That's what I gotta say. Snap. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Who would like to get it? I guess I'll go. Go ahead. All right. Um, I, you know, it was kind of hard for me to come up with an answer on this because I really don't have any particular hatred towards any specific Marvel characters. But, you know, if I had to say who won the couldn't come back, I'd have to say Star-Lord because he fucked it up for everybody. You know, all he had to <laughs> fucking do is just, is just keep his emotions in check for another fight, like, what, another minute yeah. or so. But no, he, he, not he even, not up. even. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I get it. Gamora was your, your bitch. She was hot. Yes. OK. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, it's like. <laughs> it's a term of endearment, Joe. I know. I was trying to be nice. That, but that's not, about not really. 32 minutes, Art. Uh, Gamora was your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a drop. That's the drop. Yep. yep. Go ahead, Kev. <laughs> But yeah, no, but but yeah, no, he, he screwed it up for everybody. I think mean, yeah, Doctor Strange said did say like, look, this is out of like what 17 million or whatever the hell that number he was, said the alternate futures, this is the only way we won. All right, well, that's fine. But still he he, he still screwed it up for everybody. And I, I just remember how powerful like it was when Spider-Man was just like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Stark. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Like, you know, it's, it's like, all because Star Lord did that. Yep. Star Lord dropped the ball. Well, so if you kind of think, so if you think about it, Star Lord is kind of like a genocidal maniac. Yeah, well, you don't look at who his father was. <laughs> Too right. Go. right? You can go to the living that. planet. Good point. Good one, Kevin. Thanks. Yeah, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, Art, do you have one? I do. Uh, now, it's been a very, very, very long time since I saw the movie. I feel like what I remember, it wasn't good. Are we going back to Howard the Duck? No, how dare you? That was amazing. It's perfect, <laughs> and it's it's a goddamn national treasure. It should be in the Library of Congress. I'm watching perennial it. Classic. When we, I'm when, going, when perennial done, classic. I'm watching it. You should. Uh, I will say Whiplash. Again. 
Whiplash mm. from oh. Iron Man. And <laughs> Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think that movie was such a big steaming pile of shit. I, I, it was worse. Um, I think, yeah, Whiplash, we, we need to just get, just stop it. This whole bionic pseudo Iron Man thing with his with his electrical tentacle dick fingers. No, thanks. <laughs> it's we'll just bye bye. We don't need it. I like you, Mickey Rourke, just in everything else. But this was weird. So, well, and to, and to his credit, he was not he was not meant to be the main villain in that film. Yeah. I mean, so what movie is this? I mean, Iron Man Two. two. Oh, I or was, was he the main villain? Now I don't remember. No, uh, Iron he... Man Three was the one with Guy Pierce. Yeah, right, but that two, that movie was worse. It was him, but then we also were dealing with Sam Rockwell's character. There was yeah. multi tiers of yeah, yeah, yeah. oh okay. multi tiers of bad guys, kind of like calling the calling Robert Redford a villain of Winter Soldier, but Bucky is one as well. Kinda yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Why didn't you like Iron Man three, Kevin? I don't know. It just dragged, and I, it it's was like, terrible. Really? Like, like really, Iron Man? You're you're stuck out, and you're just gonna befriend this kid in some garage? And <laughs> come on, dude. What I gotta say fuck? though. You're I gotta fucking... say though Do you that mean... the Mandarin's vignettes, you know, when you thought he was like the main villain, those were some badass uh, scenes. And then, of course, it it it, it, it turned out to to be, be a complete troll job. Has anybody seen? But Shang-Chi he, yet? you know, <laughs> has anybody seen, well, seen Shang Chi yet? Am I? I've not seen Shang Chi yet. I have okay. not. I'm sure seen that Shang-Chi Joe will yet. be out to see it soon because I hear it features BBJ. Oh. Right, Joe? You brought it up this episode. All right. Well, then I will. Uh, I know how much Kenny hates spoilers, so I'll uh, I'll just keep to myself. But yeah, it's the Mandarin stuff is touched on. So nice. um, oh, so, yeah, here so you... she comes. She's a snake eater. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a new one. I haven't I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Yeah, go so, ahead. Ben. <clears throat> Save this us. Is... This is going to seem probably so unpopular, but I was not impressed with the addition of this character. And I think maybe they were oversold to us. But I would not mind if he would have snapped Captain Marvel out. Oh, Oh, shit, I was right. I just took a guess. (laughs) I thought you were going to say that. Uh, But no, she was cool. I don't know. She okay. She was cool. I get it. Okay, uh, Captain. Side she came from that island with um, the Amazon women and what? Was Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh. trust me. Oh. As much as I freaking love that movie, that '90s period piece. Yeah. it sucks that we're old enough to get a '90s period piece. Yeah, <laughs> but they, they, they did, did a good, good job. job. With it. Yeah, they great did a job great with it. Soundtrack is amazing. I mean, when I did saw they ever go to a Walden Books in it or what? <laughs> No, when I saw Alta Vista at the Internet Cafe, I was nice. done. I was like, get the fuck out of here. But I'm not uh, like, yes, she's so powerful and she's, she's amazing. So and, and, hot. I mean, uh, Brie okay, Larson. I, don't, oh. I don't deny that either. Brie what Larson. I'm saying is doing step, bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't see. OK, she was so powerful, yet she didn't end it. It still took Tony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, like, you know, because Endgame came out. No, wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. She End- was in between. Yeah. Infinity Endgame War came Endgame. out. Yeah. Infinity War came out. And then, yep. and then, and then they came, and then her movie came out. And we we're all like, oh, well, you know, Captain Marvel's going to come back and she's fucking she's greater gonna- than, she's just going to fucking destroy everything. And then you get to like Infinity War and you're like, no, no, we got to go back in time. And, you know, yeah, and right. not on that. Not only that, but it's just like the whole thing of like they came up. Didn't they have like some really fast bullshit reason as to where have you been the entire fucking battle like right. up until this? Yeah, snap? yeah, she's been, yeah, yeah. She's like, been oh, I'm sorry. Some... Were you off? Oh, yeah. she said, "There's the a lot of planets out there in the universe, and not all of them have you." Yeah, right. but what up, bitch? Guess what? There's a there's only one reality. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, and that's why I was had. like, this one's fine. got Thanos with Bye, the glove. Baby. And six fucking infinity stones. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to call bullshit uh, on the writers on this one. That was sorry. Just... You had to clean up somebody else's shit, but we got some real problems over here. But I will I mean, say it was 
Go ahead. It was pretty badass in Endgame when she appeared at the end and ripped through Thanos' capital ship and yes. just ripped it to shreds. Sure, that sure. That was pretty badass. But then she bucks at him while she's got the glove. She bucks at him. He takes the stone right. off and punches her into oblivion. Well, it was a power stone. <laughs> it was a power stone, so you really can't use that against her. Does that? You know, that was an Infinity hey. Stone, the Power Stone. Right, but she should have just ripped his fucking arm off and beat him with it. Hey, we've all learned how powerful Infinity Stones are. Yep. There's a drawer full of them yep. at the TVA. <laughs> That's right. Paperweights. 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 <laughs> you know, a lot of people, they collect them because they think they're special. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Um, um, I, I know we're at the end of our topic here, but just real quick oh, around yeah. the horn here. Um, and... Kenny, you can jump in as well. Uh, the Thanos snap, if it was real, do you think you would have been snapped out of existence or would you have stayed? Art? Oh, I took this test on the internet. I would have made it. You would have made it. Okay. Kenny? I don't, un- I don't see how life could exist without me. So, yes, I would have made it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kevin? Kevin? Uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I, would have, I would have made it through. We got a Big lot ben? of egotists here. Well, look, yeah, I, ben, we've all I was made out. it through so far. We're all the main characters. <laughs> Ben's like, out. I'm out. Oh, I was Ben's out. out. I was out because ben. it was like a dream come true. And then you guys would all talk about me just the same. <laughs> so. And as and as for me, and as for me, I would make it as well because I'm not that lucky. All right. How how would you score this, Kenny? Yeah, uh, score this. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't even remember the question. What was it? Uh, okay, snapping out of existence. Um, Character. Uh, I just, feel... You know, Big Ben's first day. Let's give him some points. Nah. I mean, yeah, you need it. No, you need it. You need it. You'll wake up tomorrow. You'll feel, you'll feel better. Okay. It's, it's like a T. Got you. Got you. And speaking of Ben, he is our he is our last topic. So. I am the last topic of the night. So what yes, I got for you, um, it's basically going to the comics, which a lot of you said you haven't really read a lot of the comics. So this is going to be odd, <laughs> but it's like what what comic what what character from the Marvel comics is in essence overrated? Like just you can't believe <laughs> they're as popular as they are was the topic I believe I was given. Is that correct? Yes. Because I chose, I chose, all right, so technically on the thing, what Marvel character that seems to be popular, but I don't understand why. Now, I will tell you, I'm only, I I had to narrow it down. I got down to three. I'm going to go to one. (laughs) Only because, and I was, I was, I was back and forth on this one. And if you don't touch on it out of the other one, I'll jump and and quickly say what one of my other, other one of the three was, but I hated Captain America in the comics. What an absolute boring character. The best thing that ever happened to the character of Captain America was motion pictures. Because (laughs) I could care less. I I mean, I couldn't care less. That would mean I do care. I could not care less. (laughs) I am telling you, I was just like, oh boy, Cap's back. Wow. Wow. You know, like they would do the portal and Spider-Man's doing his thing and then Captain shows up. I'm like, oh, oh wow, geez. look. You know, I just, it was so boring. And and I just Here decided- Here comes the buzzkill. <laughs> right. I was just like, he wasn't, he was like Superman, but he didn't have like any, and this is odd to say, any real human kind of side to him, given that Spider, that uh, fucking Superman's an alien and he's got more humanity than freaking Captain America. He was such a wooden piece of shit in the comic books. But <laughs> they started off like that in the movies. Started off like that in the movies. Chris Chris Evans was like, Ugh. and then Winter Soldier changed everything. I was like, that's yeah. fucking amazing. And his character was the best after that. I mean, honestly, one of the better, one of the better MCU characters, I think, when all was said and done. Uh, spoiler alert, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Spoiler alert. It all is said and done for Captain America. Bye. He did. No, he old. No, no he's old. No, no he's old. <laughs> well, yeah. When's the last time you saw him alive and well as an old man? When's the last time you looked at the MCU <laughs> under the gauze of just one universe? Because technically, he is alive and well. And what if <laughs> he could be many things? 
Yeah, yep, but isn't is he one of the ones that's voiced by a completely new actor? No, he was no. he voiced it. Okay. I don't know idea. No, um, I don't think he did. I watched the credits. I swore I saw his name in it. Okay. Well, oh, it wasn't on this week's. I, I looked at this week's credits. That's okay. Our producer will look it up. <laughs> yeah. Whoever. Shut the hell up. Oh, that's so, me. So Warner Brothers seems to do a thing with characters where they save their their main uh, heroes for um, for like the movies. They're kind of tertiary characters. Sans the Flash uh, for TV. Um, so one of the characters in the Warner Brothers universe is Hawkeye. Oh, excuse me, Hawkeye is Arrow. Is Green Arrow. Who yes. well, 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 you, you can see where this is going now because I, I yes. already stated his name is Green Arrow, whose main power is that he's really good with a bow and arrow. Um, so I, I, I still struggle with the fact if we're going to jump over to Marvel real quick that Hawkeye is a member of the Avengers. I have nothing against Hawkeye. I'm sure, he, you know, Jeremy Renner's a great actor, but I I don't understand the popularity, I guess. Is, you know, he, he, he has a bow and arrow, albeit, you know, he has, you know, some trick arrows, I guess. <laughs> but it's, uh, and, it's and I guess this goes to, to Black Widow as well, but, you know, at the very least, Black Widow's hot. So, um, hey. Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye is today's Legolas. Touche. Sure. Okay. That's why. He's Legolas for today's era. I'd fuck Legolas. <laughs> yes. You have a thing for blondes. <laughs> he does. Uh, I'll jump in and answer very quickly. Um, my my answer is two words. Fantastic four. <laughs> Which yeah. one? All of them, Fantastic <laughs> Four. Literally, you can erase them from the, the from the entire canon. As far as I'm concerned, they've tried to make that work. I don't know how many times. I think three times. There was once in the '90s. Two in the, the lots, and then there was what, two was, casts. There was two casts. Uh, they did two movies. One was never released, right? Yeah, one no, was never released. At, hold on, back no, in you, the not like. I don't know about that. So the, there, the, there was the, one. No, because there was two. There was two in the '90s with the same cast, and, and early aughts, not '90s. Yeah, early aughts. No, no, there yeah. was one no, in the no, '90s. There was, was one in the '90s that was, that was never released. Yeah, and then there, there was, was one most... in the '90s that was never released. Uh, okay, uh, they filmed then, it so they the could most... keep the rights. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, no, the most recent one was a film so they could keep the rights. And that's the one where the fucking blonde chick like switched hair halfway through. Yeah, and, like, it was they, uh, Michael they, B. They Jordan. Re- Michael yeah, B. they Jordan reshot was the one. whole thing. I mean, it was yeah, a so that's when they had Miles trash Teller hole. and shit in there. Yeah. yeah. So, like, even the so- director had come out like prior to that releasing and been like, this is a, this is a piece of shit. This is a dumpster fire. Now, now so let the, me ask the you. The one I'm talking because- about is from 1994. That's what that I was, was the one that was never released rated PG. It is it looks like it's made on a fucking home video set. <laughs> then there was the one that we all know which was from the aughts before they I mean apparently they made way too many of these things. There was like oh there was 2005, which is the one we're talking about, which had um oh look at that. Is that Captain America? That is Captain yep. America. Yeah, he was the fire yeah. guy. Yep, and then they brought it back <laughs> 10 years later with uh miles teller at all for the and, uh, silver surfer and no, that was no seven yeah it, it, second it one just... of the the chris evans series was uh, was silver surfer oh and i just the rise of the things, silver yeah. surfer yeah and then the I next like to say they've given it enough times nobody gives a fuck so yeah. let's just stop yeah well, they like it twice in two years in like 10 years i compared the Fantastic Four movie that never came out to the Nicolas Cage Superman that never came out. I don't know if you've ever seen the yeah. promotional picture of him yep. with the long hair wearing a Superman suit that looks like it's made out of the, like Reynolds wrap or something like that. And it's just it, it's just so glorious. Um, I do have to ask you a question, Art. Um, well, and and everybody here, too, because one of the rumors about the Fantastic Four, because the MCU does have the rights, you know, Disney does have and the they rights. They have another one coming out. They they're making another one. Yep. One of the rumors, one of the rumors is that they would use a real life husband and wife team 
for Reed Richards and Invisible Girl. And that would be John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. How yeah, I'll we'll sign that? on that tomorrow. Absolutely. Hot. I, Hot. I would be okay with those because they're both very, very talented people. Only and it really de- depends on who's writing it. Let's see. They say like Krasinski's they gotta do release. some fourth wall breaks, some third wall breaks. What do you call Of course, him? a little Yeah, they, he needs definitely to do some fourth wall <laughs> well, breaks. Well, we wouldn't ever thought that Jim was per se a genius, but the, the work that he's done since then between 13 hours and between d- d- the Jack Ryan and all that stuff. And uh, he'd be believable as a scientist. I think he could pull off the dialogue. I think he's, uh, I think he's he'd be ready great. to go. Yeah. He's yeah, ready to go. I really do. And Emily Blunt. I mean, really <laughs> come on. Yeah. She's amazing. She just is an amazing actress. I mean, it's, it's regardless. Blunt. And she can <laughs> only, she can sing me to sleep. <laughs> you like Jungle Cruise? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting. I. I actually have to wait for the for the little kids. Um. I. I don't get them all the time. So when they come, that's when I. Uh, that's when I bring them. Stuff. Yeah. I, I put a big sign outside my house and I say, "Little kids, come watch this movie with me." <laughs> um, <laughs> in his windowless <laughs> van. <laughs> 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 uh kevin what is your uh what's your pick um i i was racking my brain took me a while i was gonna i'm gonna say from the the eddie brock from spider-man 3 from the guy that was in that 70s show oh, my oh God. yeah topher yeah let's... <laughs> he was I'm not for pop- grace he was not popular <laughs> yeah That's terrible like, like the current eddie brock's cool like I love that movie, and I can't wait to see uh, the, the next one. But yeah, the Ed, the Topher Grace, well, I think it's his name. Yeah, that that was just some yeah, shit. Topher Grace. Yeah, yeah. Um, Everything about Spider Man Three sucked. I mean, uh, Topher Grace is Venom. I don't know who played Sandman. Uh, Thomas Hayden Church. Name. Thomas Hayden Church. Thank and you. he's supposed Thank to be you. in yeah. Far From Home. That, that, and that's another one. I mean, not Far From Home, but No Way Home. Yeah, that's supposed to be one of the characters to bring him back as Sandman. Is that guy? Thomas Hayden Church. Really? An Octo guy, Octopus Oct- guy. Oct- yeah, yes, Oct- Alfred guy. Molina. My yeah, boy. Same guy. I mean, what's happening right now? I don't it's like Be- before the Dark Knight, I would say Spider Man Two was my favorite yep. comic book movie. You know, you know what? You know what pisses me off about this whole MCU multiverse thing? It's like now they're like, guess what? It doesn't matter. We can do anything we want. <laughs> exactly. We don't have. We can make a movie. It doesn't have to make sense. It's the multiverse. We well, can do whatever. We can do whatever. Is DC doing that with Flashpoint too? Yeah. Yes, yes they are. Well, yeah. it, it's not going to be just because it's rumored anymore. that it's rumored that they're going to have multiple Batman, including yeah, Michael, Michael Keaton's been Batman, seen so. filming, right? And then, but they're doing that with um, what is it? Uh, multiple worlds or whatever they've been doing that crossover event in the cw shows for years now yeah um crisis of infinite earths or whatever crisis, yes it. yeah they i mean so they like they like mixing it up i guess they're trying to do it but you're right it's it is it is a cheap way of saying well now we can bring back uh robert downey jr but he can only be now tony stark because iron man never existed on that timeline right. and all that bs yeah it's it's an easy easy writing gig i guess to just throw it all out the window but yeah, I, guess I mean, I, I'm in. I, I, I'm all in. Well, I, yeah, I'd watch them. Don't get me wrong. My, but yeah. my chips are on the table. I mean, <laughs> Disney Plus has got my money. I don't give a fuck. I mean, no it, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, okay. You get Disney Plus in a van? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Starlink. Oh, okay. Got you. Right on the tie. Just bolt it down there. How would you score this, Kenny? Oh, I got to score this one, too? Fuck me. Um... Name a sure. Marvel character that seems to be popular, but you don't understand why. I don't remember anybody's Marvel you had characters. To read the question again. Well, yeah. no, it's Wednesday. We usually record. We, on we Tuesday. already went through all this. Wait, did all you right, not so, pay attention? Okay, Who, who's up? I won no. the end. Okay, yeah. next one. Joe okay. won. Yeah, he got all the, the points. If I get gay. BJ the other JD. one is Iron Man. Iron Man in the comics, terrible. <laughs> B-level character, he became popular. And then my other one was, believe it or not, Wolverine and, and uh, Deadpool. Deadpool in the comics is like an inside joke. It's like the fucking newsletter that they put out to print. 
They all make fun of each other. You don't know what the fuck ah. is going on half the time. But he's <laughs> mega popular in the movies. But it's like, when they heard they were going to make a Deadpool movie, it was like, really? Really? <laughs> and then Ryan Reynolds made one of the best movies. Like, one of the best <laughs> movies of the whole MCU. Or not MCU, but like of Marvel outside of the yeah. MCU. I was like, this is better than all the X-Men movies combined. I was like, this is fucking <laughs> great. So, yeah. Wasn't better oh. than Thor 3. Thor three that surprised me because one Wait, wasn't that I was the like, Ragnarok Burr. one yeah yes. yeah one I, I thought was Thor like, two eh. was the one that wasn't that good the one two that's was like, horrible and I was never going to see three and three was amazing <laughs> three was well that's all so Taika good. Waititi right there yep yep yes. who is so good who Kevin is uh Korg Taika Waititi yep, is a I, I do know that I know that I that's love right. that voice that voice is the best one of any character because it's he said he modeled it after a Polynesian club bouncer or something like that. That's what he's going for. He's like, it's just a little rock, paper, scissors joke for you. Like he just has this real soft voice. But you imagine this giant guy you can't get past in the doorway. Hey, and he's also know? in Suicide Squad. Yep. I love the fact just, that yes. awesome. yeah, he's rat rat catcher. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, love yeah, the fact was. now that... now or rat catcher's mother. I mean father. Yeah, father. I thought the one he was rat catcher one. Or, I don't know. Right, right. Are starting to to. <sighs> Cross, you know, or starting to cross over to DC and vice versa. So. Well, he, yeah, when Gunn left for the DC uh, side, he took oh, so many people that he worked with with him. Sly yep, went Elba. over. Yeah, Idris Elba went over. Everybody his brother, over. his brother, who was like in Guardians. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, Sean Gunn. Right. Sean, Gunn. Sean, right. Gunn yeah. Goes Sean, yeah, he was, um, he was the rocket. Rat. Yeah. And Dave uh, he was the weasel, the best weasel. character in the whole goddamn movie. Yep. <laughs> and Dave Batista wanted to go, but he was already doing a Zack Snyder movie, so he could not do it. Well, he wants to be Bane. He was not doing yeah. Zack Snyder's Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder's, the even longer <laughs> Snyder yes. cut of Zack Snyder's Justice Army League, of Zack the Snyder. Dead. <laughs> yeah, he's doing Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead, Zack Snyder. Um, all right, look, we're going way here. Uh, ben is a good school schoolboy. We have to let him go so we can finish his tests. Uh, before Thank we you. go, I want to say thanks to Kevin and Ben. Do you guys have anything you'd like to share or promote? Oh, ben, I think you got a little thing, don't you? I can't, man. It's separate. It's separate. You I can't share it. your own podcast? No, it's under a whole different name. It's a different oh, then world. forget I ever said that. Ben has <laughs> absolutely ben has no I podcast. Ben has no podcast. I have nothing going on. No, um, I, I, no. I'm still around. I, I don't do any comedy uh, much anymore under the uh, Big Ben Kennedy thing. I did start a whole new uh, uh, deal and I do some comedy over there. I actually have a Zoom, <laughs> a Zoom comedy show on Saturday night to the people in Minnesota uh, for a Minnesota convention. I really be broadcasting me on the wall. So I have to do comedy over Zoom. It's going to be very interesting. Nice. But um, but other than that, no, I don't get to do, I don't get to do exactly right. That's what I'm hoping. I get the audio to my side so I can hear exactly that. That'll be really great. Um, this, yes. So I think my opening line, I'll give you a preview. We'll say, uh, as you can see, I've gained a lot of weight. I would love to say that I gained this weight during quarantine, but that would mean that I've been fighting COVID since 1983. <laughs> thought that'd nice. be a great opening line love it love and it. then i also want to say uh, i'm sitting here performing by myself uh in my living room which would be incredibly awkward except i'm doing a fucking zoom comedy show which is even more awkward so <laughs> either way you look at it here i am so i yeah. understand from uh from what i remember about you you perform for yourself a lot so <laughs> <laughs> where's my rim shot at this yeah. age we all do Oh yeah, man, it's so that, great to see do. all of you. I swear to God, like, like we got to yeah. catch up. I know you were planning a trip down here. Is that still on? Art? Are you coming down to Charleston at all? Eh. Yeah, we'll work that out. Yeah, all we'll, right. we'll take that off. I heard there was, I heard there was an idea of you guys coming down, and I would definitely, yeah. I'd show you guys uh, around, and we we definitely tear it up. But anyway, I go home from time to time. You're not there anymore, Art, but I think you guys are, and we'll try. Yep, to Kevin is. Up. That's it. Well, oh, Kevin, Kevin. I'm sorry, Joe is too. I forgot about Joe. <laughs> we'll go to Marley Station Mall. I think you left your lighter and pack of cigarettes still open? in the trash can. Yeah. Is that still open? I thought they closed it. it it's a partial my... they open now. It's not because Amazon's taking it over. So yeah, I put uh, my daughter there and uh, I let her run around the middle with the elevator and took her on the elevator. And I was just like, this is crazy, man. It was it was as desolate. Feels... Kids were riding skateboards on the upper level. That's how oh, much. Shit. Wow. No, no, yep. no security. It's like, okay. Death of an error. 
Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. There used to Hello, be a time we'd go to Marley Station Mall with five dollars and and I... like be six hours. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was about to play the outro and I slipped. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut Kenny off, so I stopped. But you started playing the sad bed, so I, I did. Talk... But it, that's it. Like it's only a fucking. <laughs> Nine second bed. Oh, I don't know. You. I don't okay, know if I ever told this. you this art, but I loved being in the movie there. Um, it was great to be on Amazon the, Prime. The movie he's uh, talking about is The Money Shot. What, currently what movie is that? For yes. rent or purchase on Amazon Prime. The Money it was Shot. great. I watched it and I was like, that's hilarious. It's so, so great. A uh, couple of people, when I got back on Facebook after a long hiatus, they said, oh, I got to go check out that movie on Amazon Prime. What the fuck? What are you? Oh, we're it's... good. It was Kevin. I just muted him. Oh, oh okay. okay. So, he decided to watch I... TV, or he's getting yelled at by somebody. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were playing something hard. I'm like, but but on, enough about Kevin. Radio. Go on and tell me more about me. No, but I, so I got to see the movie. It was funny. But I'll have to tell you, when you had that commentary on the DVD, which I have, um, I just recently found. <laughs> the best line to me for for me is they go my naked ass shows up on the screen and art goes and there's your brief nudity and i don't know who you were with but he goes and no offense ben but not brief enough i think that is <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome like that that makes me laugh every time i think about it like anytime i think about it it's just like man that, there's your brief nudity not brief enough yeah, now, I think that was this fella named Chad. So I'll give him credit that for right? that. Yeah, yeah. I, th I feel fun. like at that point we were at least I don't know two six packs in. Of we had some Freeman. really pretty girls on the cast. I mean, they were wonderful actresses. They were very beautiful. And um, and then I was like, wouldn't it be funny if they got all excited when they looked at the cover of this and they said, "Oh, there's brief nudity," and it was me. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I tried to use that as a selling point. Didn't work didn't work so you try to tell everybody that's the joke the ultimate that's joke the, is we have the worst the, fat the naked joke. ass you've ever seen but but listen listeners don't take our words for it we could be lying there's tons of really epic boobies in this movie so go right now to amazon prime and buy or rent it for the low low cost of one dollar come on is you it one dollar <laughs> it has it's one dollar awesome yeah, All right. they won't. We're getting the fuck out of here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you being here. Until oh, Ken, you have something to read, don't you? Oh I yeah. About hey, that. thank you once again for wasting an hour with us this week. Uh, you can find us at thatwasdisappointing.com. That was disappointing on Facebook and wherever you download your podcasts from, because we all have podcasts that we listen to. Okay, uh, we dropped an episode every week, every Monday morning, because. Wow. Okay, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, good or bad. Also, October 29th, Facebook Live, 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific Time. We are doing Hot Sauce 2, and we got some real hot sauces this time. So, yeah. Thanks. I got the blues. I got the blues. I got the blues. I got the alcoholic blues. No more beer. No more beer. No more to cheer. Goodbye, whiskey. I used to sing for a song. So long. And you're coming. And you're coming again. God. Again. Oh, that was disappointing. Oh, that was. Ugh. Uh -huh. God, do I love you, Leah Thompson. <laughs> uh, so hot. A duck. Duck, duck, duck. You don't feel it, and the shot of the world's <laughs> right too much.